graphics, whiteboards, presentations, social media posts, video, print production, website. And it is really great at giving you an amazing amount of templates to build off of. So let's say that I wanted to create a social media post and come down here, you can create a collection, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, landscape, Instagram story. You can do all of this just by clicking uh, the button and then it brings up a list of templates on the left that you can build off of and then you can click this and it automatically creates this. Delete your fonts, change your background, add new text. You can do that all from the right and left. You, it, with the pro version, you can even upload images. And let's say that I want to take uh, this picture of, uh, let's just use, I don't want to use somebody else in this picture. Let's just use me. And let's say I wanted to use this picture. Let's edit this background out. And it's going to, with the pro version, it does the single greatest job of removing backgrounds I've ever seen in a thing. And it works perfectly. So just a second, this is now going to apply. The background's comp completely removed, even down to inside my hairlines, all the features, it's just perfect. And then you can modify this the way that you want this image to be, add text with it, do what you want to do inside of here. But let's go back to the designs, and let's say that we want our home, I'm sorry, and let's say that you want to do video. Video has all kinds of same type of things. So if you wanted to do an Instagram reel or a TikTok, you can come over here, select a, a bunch of uh, templates for videos, modify these videos the way that you want in using their uh, their library. So they have a they have a very nice library of things as well, including audio, videos, everything that's in here. So you just can drag this stuff in and leave that just like that, and it's very simple to do. Very simple, but. You, you can't really modify this. Like there's no, you can keep adding things to make the video longer, but you really can't add layers on top of the image the right way. You can do some things that you want to do just by putting, you know, bringing text in, dragging it over there. But, but it just isn't a full featured video editor. So if we come over to we video, and we want to start a new project. Let's say that I want to create a full featured video editor. And let's say that we're just going to start editing. Inside of here, you can then create, change your format and build a horizontal six by nine, a vertical or a square. So depending on the format that you're going to build, and it tells you right here what it's great for. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat. Those horizontal ones are great. If you wanted to do square i said that completely wrong vertical that's great for the facebook stories instagram stories uh snapchat square is going to be just essentially for uh the facebook and and instagram so you can do that let's just leave it horizontal we're going to hit cancel so we already got our video now we can also come to their video library which i find to be an unbelievable library so let's say that i wanted to make a video about trains you just type in here trains and it's going to now give you endless number of train videos that you can then populate into your layers and you can then add additional tracks additional text layer video layer more audio and put those in as layers and create incredible transitions smooth uh, transitions between videos you can do all of this as it's a full featured video editor in the cloud with millions millions of of pieces of uh mar of material for you to use in your resources here for whatever you want it to be uh supercars let's look up supercars and see what we got so we now have some race car stuff we're going to add this right here at the end of this video you hit play to validate what this looks like in in its uh roughness and then you can actually put that put that video all together and once you're in this layer you can also take the and slide this to be just the amount you want it to be uh, you could actually stack that on the same layer you can then add transitions if you wanted to drop in a transition between those two videos and it's just drag and drop for what you want and now if you want to upload your own content 
it's just as easy to go to my media and do your import you can record on the screen you can narrate a video uh, all within the my media section so creating content inside of we video in my opinion for video for video there is this is simple this is simple and what i, I just i can't get over uh the amount of uh content that's available in their content library for building uh as much as you want to build in their audio uh you can put a beautiful background inside of this play that and i got my audio muted look at me so we can actually bring that back listen to it all nice and Look how beautiful that is. Such a beautiful audio clip. Let's say that I wanted to add some more videos. How about, how about, uh, aeroplane, airplane. Let's see, somebody flying. Let's, put, let's add some more little nice clips here. Shrink this down. And then what's really cool is once you get this all built out the way you want it to, let's say I want to add another transition. Let's just drag this puzzle right here and make this. I like the audio for this little made up clip that I'm making. Here it comes. And then once you're done, you just click finish and then you can name the video and then you can choose to have it go out to your video download destination, your Google Drive, YouTube Direct, Facebook, uh, Vimeo. You can choose your, your output that you want it to be. It could even be a GIF if you wanted. What I like to do is always do make export as public. That way I can just download it directly from the from the page. I don't have to go dig up where it is. I don't have to do anything like that, but I just download it. And then I go upload it after I finish making sure the naming and everything else is done incredibly easy. So you hit export and then you're done. And then once you're, you're finished building your video, you can then go back to the editor, make any changes you want, come into your project, adjust that to be the way you want it to be. And it's simple. I, I, I don't think there's a way to really compare uh, video creation in Canva or video creation inside of WeVideo. So for, for instance, I'm going to use Canva to make the cover photo for this video because it's great at making uh, YouTube thumbnails. So I'm going to come over here and let's just say that I wanted to use uh, this, this colorful versus video. So then I want to put in, uh, let's say, uh, Canva logo, and go to images, grab this Canva, I like this Canva little dot here, and we're going to grab that, copy that image, come back over to Canva, and paste here, let's see what this does, we're going to drop that in right in that Canva. And center this. And then we're going to do you, we video logo. Great. See if we got anything very similar to theirs. How about this one. I'm going to copy this image. Come back over again. Paste this. Drag that into there. The video, move this over here, and now I've got an image that's very, very easy to be user friendly. Um, simple, simple. So now I just change this to Canva versus We Video, video, video editing. Capabilities, and then I hit share, and so you guys just literally watched me create a the video for what this is going to be. 
how I made my image, how I use the templates, and it's it. So, guys, that's all I got for today. Talk to you soon.